Hey everybody, Dennis Jernigan here with another Parkinson's Moment. I realize it's been a couple of months since I posted here, but I've had a lot going on. Uh, my new book, Parkinson's and Recreation, One Man's Journey Through Parkinson's So Far, kept me hopping for several weeks when I first released it due to several interviews in which I got to talk about the new book and due to the social media marketing team I had to oversee. And by oversee, I mean do, <laughs> because I am the social media marketing team. And then to top it all off, I tested positive for COVID and have spent the last few weeks recuperating and trying to regain my strength. This was truly a Parkinson's moment. Having Parkinson's and COVID together are quite the opposite of fun, but I still count it as a Parkinson's moment because it actually afforded me the opportunity to practice what I preach. I could either focus on the negative or I could choose to see what I was going through from the Lord's point of view. And if you know me at all, you know I believe God wastes absolutely nothing we bring to him, even suffering and sickness. Today, I'd like to share a quick Parkinson's moment that involves my wife, Melinda. <laughs> we just recently celebrated our 40th year of marriage, and I must say it has been quite the adventure. And here's a quick story that I share in my new book that is only a drop in the bucket of Parkinson's moments I share in the book. It may fall into the TMI category, so... Viewer, beware. <laughs> Melinda has a way of making me laugh that no one else can duplicate. She just lives her life honestly and literally and rolls her eyes at my dad jokes, which only makes me laugh even more. Yet there are many more occasions when she does something so unexpected that it catches me off guard and makes me laugh uncontrollably. As an example, we were getting ready for bed recently Melinda always uses a nasal spray just before bedtime. She had worked very intensely on her jewelry all day, and we had received news that a close family friend had been rushed by ambulance to the hospital, so her mind was being pulled in many different directions as we prepared for sleep. Melinda grabbed her nasal spray, and rather, th rather than spraying it into her nostrils, <laughs> sprayed the mist into her mouth. She began choking and laughing, and I asked her why she was laughing. She said, I just sprayed nasal spray in my mouth. I snorted in laughter, and we got so tickled, we could not stop giggling. After we settled down a bit, she kissed me goodnight, and I said, wow, that makes my mouth feel so clear and uncongested. Once again, <laughs> we began to giggle uncontrollably, and as we were laughing, still laughing about that, I got a text with the friend's health update and I was trying to read it to Melinda while trying to suppress my giggles. As I attempted to read this very serious text, I sucked in my stomach so as to gain control and my shorts fell down around my ankles, <laughs> leaving me completely naked. Thank God none of the grandchildren were spending the night that evening when that happened, our laughter turned to sheer convulsion, and we gave up trying to stop giggling. I slept well that night. Classic Parkinson's moment or classic old folks moment. I'll let you decide. If you want to read more about how we find humor and joy amidst the, the ongoing struggle with Parkinson's, read my new book, Parkinson's and Recreation, One Man's Journey Through Parkinson's So Far. Here are a couple of reviews of the many being left on the Amazon website that I think might interest you. Barbara writes, I ordered this book for my Bible teacher who has Parkinson's disease. He said that he thought, oh no, I don't like to read because my hands shaking makes the book shake and hard to read. But he went ahead and started reading it and finished it in two days. He loved the book and then ordered four additional books for himself as he wanted to give them to his friends who also had Parkinson's. This book has been a huge blessing to many people. 
Thank you, Dennis, for sharing your heart. And Bobby's Girl writes, This book is cheerfully refreshing. I liked the short chapters. This is not the typical self-help book. The author is personal, honest, strong, and courageous to share Parkinson's moments as he continues to invest in the lives of his descendants and others he has opportunity to meet in life. It is my opinion that anyone could be encouraged and strengthened to press through a difficult place in life by reading this book. I am not disappointed at all that I decided to purchase this book. Thanks to both Barbara and Bobby's Girl for their very kind reviews. Again, you can purchase your copy today, available in paper book, ebook, and audiobook formats, wherever books are sold. I honestly hope you enjoy me sharing about my Parkinson's moments, and I'll, I will try to post a bit more frequently as time and energy allow. You might also be interested to know that I am working on Parkinson's and recreation too. No walk in the Parkinson's. <laughs> Lord willing, look for it in about a year's time. I'm already six chapters into the writing process and am loving every minute of it. Again, I hope to share another Parkinson's moment with you here in the very near future. Until then, be blessed and choose joy.